Hi everyone. So today uh, I'll be discussing about how to use lead code efficiently and effectively. And I'll be starting with by giving you a walkthrough of lead code websites and discussing about like whether it really helps us to solve lead code questions, what companies ask questions based on lead code patterns and uh, how does lead code help you on uh, cracking interviews. And I'll be giving you a proper guidelines on where to start solving the questions, how should you begin with and how should you go and have a track of how to solve the questions basically. And once you get the idea about how to go through the questions, then I'll be talking about the tips and techniques on how you can uh, identify certain patterns in lead code questions, so what should be the approach you should uh, choose to solve them. And I'll be providing some resources for you as well. I'll be also providing you the topics that you should cover uh, for solving the lead code questions. So it can be both theoretical part as well as the problem part. So you could choose uh, certain questions from certain topics of data structures and algorithms and you can go and solve based on that. And I will have, uh, uh, I have like certain approaches that will help you to cover all the topics together as well as cover uh, most frequently asked questions as well as uh, most uh, similar pattern questions. So uh, this will be like a very good guide for the beginners or for young professionals who are looking for a switch. So uh, I hope this video will be helpful for you and let me know if you have any uh, doubts or comments and please do comment and uh, let me know whatever you want about this. Let's get started with the lead code website. So once you're in the home page, uh, you can click on the problems tab. And once you scroll down, you can see a list of questions given here. And these are the questions we consider as the interview questions or interview pattern questions. And if you come to the bottom, you can see there are around 2500 uh, questions right now and it keeps on growing. Uh, in fact, you don't have to solve a lot of questions. The ideal number is between uh, 150 to 200 questions. And if you solve a wide range of topics, you will be uh, interview ready and you will be uh, uh, covered most of the topics uh, in that data structures and algorithms part. So let's uh, discuss like uh, before starting, like is it actually worth it to solve these questions like uh, how companies are or which companies are hiring based on this. So uh, when I uh, take a look at the list of companies, uh, we can see most of the great uh, product based companies in the world are uh, hiring based on the technical interview rounds and these rounds contain questions that are uh, pretty much inspired by lead code questions or most or most of the time you will see uh, exact lead code questions itself. Uh, when I interviewed for Google, I, I used to see like uh, four technical rounds and in these four rounds, I got asked around uh, six to seven in questions. And all of them were like uh, a set of uh, lead code questions or a variation of the lead code questions. And when I interviewed for most of the other big companies, they all had this same uh, pattern of the questions that are inspired from lead code pattern. So if you're solving a lot of lead code questions like 200 plus questions, your brain will be auto wired to see these patterns and solve them and it will help you to crack the technical round. So uh, the uh, at the end, the point is like lead code helps you to prepare for seeing the patterns to to make your brain ready for solving this kind of question. So I hope you got an idea of what kind of companies uh, higher. Now let's see uh, how to get started for beginners. So uh, there is no point on uh, like solving the question number one first, then two, then third one. So if you go in this sort, uh, you will reach nowhere because these are like a different range of topics, different uh, level of difficulty questions. So the best part is just get started with the top 100 light questions. This will be like the most commonly asked questions. Uh, most wide range of topics are covered here of different difficulty. So uh, I will suggest you to start with the easier level and beginners should never touch the hard questions at all. So start with the easy questions sort the first uh, two or three questions just to know like how the platform is how you read the questions how you write the code how you run it how you test it so that's how you should get started so once you solve around three to four uh, easy questions then go for the medium questions and see if you can understand the problem and how it is so let's take an example here so i'm opening the do some problem and you can read the question on the left side you can see some examples here and you can see the constraints given and after understanding the question and going through some examples, you can start writing your code on the right side. 
once you write the code you can uh, run the test cases submit it and see how is your solution everything and the best part of every question in lead code is there is the uh, solutions part and the solution part is not for you to copy it but uh, rather uh, understand how other people have written their solutions what were their thought process what was the uh, idea behind their solution or the intuition they got and you can find uh, different uh, solutions in different programming languages so i would say this is like the holy grail of uh, the solutions or the ideas thought processes you can learn so from this you can learn a lot and it, it might surprise you a lot and I, I have been surprised a lot of time and this has helped me to impress my interviewers as well also so you should definitely check out the solutions part and don't spend more than 20 minutes in solving any question once you are stuck for 20 to 30 minutes go to the solutions and just start solving it now the next part i would say is uh, like once you're going through the top 100 uh, liked questions and you are able to solve easy and moderate questions then go to the uh, top interview questions so top interview questions is also a set of questions which are asked um, like more commonly in many companies and most of these questions are also part of the top 100 like questions so uh, you can start solving the top interview questions while solving that you should uh, have an idea about what all topics you are covering and uh, what kind of topics you should be going through so instead of going in the order given here you can go uh, either by like you know i will solve the questions based on array then i will solve based on linked list then go through stack trees graph so you can choose a set of this so i have curated a list of 75 questions which will cover almost all the topics and most of the commonly asked questions will also be covered in this uh, list so if you solve these 75 questions you will get a pretty good idea about the data structure and algorithms then there is the list of topics i have created and these are the topics that you must cover uh, to get a good grasp about the data structures you can choose this one topic and go through the list which i mentioned earlier and just solve these questions based on the topic so once you are confident that okay i i have solved a certain question for example array in this case and i will go through the questions in the array and once you solve that you will be pretty confident okay i can solve the questions in array by using some two pointers or sliding window approach or some dynamic programming so things like that and later you can move to next topics like a link list and how to do the link list based questions or uh, string based questions so things like that so this is like the approach you should uh, be focusing so that uh, you will be confident that okay you have covered particular topics and and uh, you will find certain uh, patterns for each kind of topic so for example if you see link list you know you should use the pointers most often so that will be helpful and i have written some patterns here on the c column so you can see like what kind of approach you should do it and once you're covering each topics just have a good notes about that like what all questions you have seen what are the styles you have written what was the uh, intuition you got so have keep track of this stuff so this will really help you a lot so uh, we have topics like arrays hashing two pointers sliding window stack binary search link list trace heap intervals backtracking one dimensional dynamic programming then two dimensional dynamic programming graphs advanced graph then greedy approaches then we have tries tries is like a variation of uh, trees uh, which is basically used for like dictionary or alphabetically so, uh, sorted situations then we have some uh, no common mathematical and geometrical problems using mathematical formulas then bit manipulation where you need a good idea about bits and how it is stored in uh, variables so i hope uh, you cover these topics in this given order and this is like the best order you can uh, solve questions as well and use this as well as the blind certify list to solve now let's go to the lead code patterns now the lead code patterns are the uh, like some hacks i have written here for you so this will help you to uh, quickly analyze the solutions you need for a particular kind of questions so for example when the array is sorted you should use binary search or two pointers if it is a tree you should use dfs or bfs or graph you again have to use dfs or bfs if it is a link list it will be most probably two pointers or uh, variations of the uh, multiple pointers if recursion is not allowed then you should use stack and if there is a question to solve in place then you should do the swapping of values 
and if they are asking about some maximum minimum subarray or subset questions then it's uh, dynamic programming and if there's a question about top or least k items then it is or most probably heap then some common string related uh, algorithms are done by maps and try and in the other cases like if you want to optimize your algorithm use uh, hash set or maps uh, try to sort your input and make your algorithm better. So these kind of techniques I have added here. So you will find out how to use these questions or uh, these techniques while solving the blind 75 question and it will really help you out. So uh, everyone just cover these topics like uh, just follow through the same orders uh, like pick a topic go to the blind 75 question and find the question related to that topic here. So for example, I have already sorted it out based on the category and try to solve it in the order. And this is the smartest way to crack any coding interview because these 75 questions has most of the uh, topics or all the topics I mentioned, the other sheet is covered and uh, most of the variations are also based on these uh, 75 questions. So you could you can make a hard question based on the medium questions present in this list. You can find a medium question uh, based on the easy question in this list and vice versa. So this is this will uh, be really helpful for you. So just go through it. I have also written a lot of notes about how to solve these questions. So I will just summarize this everything. So go to the lead code uh, problem section and choose the list of problems you are going to solve. Like for example, top hundred like questions or top interview questions or the blind. 75 question I'm uh, providing and once that is uh, done then choose the topics you want to solve and click filter it based on the topics then you can uh, start solving these questions now the best uh, hack I would say is use a pen and paper method so you always have a pen and paper with you while you're solving a lead code question and keep note of what you are doing okay so once you find a solution write that solution I, I it doesn't mean you have to write the code i'm not saying about the code i'm saying the techniques you use like for example did you use hash map did you use the sliding window here or did you have some prefix some or two pointers or uh, you did something like with binary search or yeah so things like that so just keep track of that like what was the idea behind that solution what was the intuition how did you approach it what was the brute force method what was the optimized method so have a note of this so that what happens is you will always remember uh, this pattern in your brain by heart so if you see any similar question or a question that you have never seen before but it has some link to uh, any of these questions you will know okay this should be the method i should uh, see if uh, and how to approach them so it will help you a lot so uh, always make notes of it go through your notes every week or every month and before any interviews go through all the questions you have solved uh, by reading the notes understanding the patterns um, and i believe you got the idea about why i am uh, emphasizing more about the pen and paper and i hope you all will sort the questions in the blind 75 uh, list i have provided here and uh, the one thing like uh, so i have a malayalam channel going on so it has uh, some youtube videos that are, are done in malayalam language so uh, those are the videos i have linked in the sheet currently uh, you can ignore it if you can't if you don't understand it but you can find a lot of good uh, video explanation solutions in youtube in english and hindi so yeah that would be great for you all and if there are any malayalis listening right now so you can go to my other channel which will be doing uh, a malayalam code explanation for all these problems so uh, i hope uh, this will be really helpful for everyone and uh, i cannot stop emphasizing on uh, you to uh, solve these questions uh, very regularly at least one question a day and if you have very less time you should solve two or five questions every day and this will not take much time like once you get the habit of solving these questions it will be like just 30 minutes of task for you initially it will be a little bit difficult it will take like 40 minutes maybe 45 minutes and maybe you will give up on uh, writing the solution but keep on going and that will help you and you should uh, comment all your questions you have uh, in the comment section so that it will motivate me to write more I hope this video was really helpful for you and I believe uh, you got a, uh, at least a higher level overview about how to start with your lead code journey and what approaches you should do and uh, if you have any more questions or doubts please comment down below and so let me know what or queries you have in your mind so that I can help you better and I can uh, make more videos or contacts based on your questions as well. 
So uh, let me know whatever queries you have, uh, whether it's regarding lead code or whether it's regarding your uh, placements or interviews or your studies, anything you can just comment and I will be, uh, I'll be keep to reply for you all. So I hope you all have a very good day and yeah, see you on the video.